Okay, go ahead and start. Yeah. Oh god, it's kind of my jacket. <laughs> is this thing on? Yes, it is. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Up. So, <laughs> how's everyone going? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. You enjoy the winter season, alright? Alright, you, you crazy kids, alright. So, I'm filming this on November 20th. Uh, mainly because I need to get these thoughts out of my head. And, and I don't trust myself to not say anything to people. That is it. <laughs> so I have a big problem that I have because uh, Christmas is coming up. For me at least, by the time this video goes out, it probably will be that towards that Christmas month and whatnot. Well, Christmas week. Uh, I have a hard time keeping things a secret. <laughs> and I found what helps is that if I talk about the little things, I kind of like, it kind of like exits my brain. I'm like, oh, I finally like told someone about it. So if I put it in a YouTube video, then I don't have to worry about any of the people that I'm moving gifts to worrying about seeing it until after it was released. So if you're seeing this now, I'm sorry if any of my gifts are shitty. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> so I have a list of people that I'm going to get Christmas gifts for and whatnot. I'm hoping to get some at Black Friday and whatnot, but I have a general idea of what I'm going to get them. And in this video, I want to share my thoughts about what I'm going to get each and every one. Uh, mainly the people on this list will be my mom and dad, and then my husband, of course, and then a couple of my friends and whatnot. So they're in the same state as me. Some that do not, I gotta ship and whatnot. Yeah, but there's one that lives in my state, I still gotta ship to them because I'm not gonna drive it like two hours to their house. I love them, but like, not like that. <laughs> I guess we should probably start with my dad, you know? Um, my dad is an awesome dad. He's a, he's a cool guy. At least I think so. And, um, he has a lot of interests. Uh, if I actually do have autism, it would probably be from, uh, his side of the family. Because, uh, I mean, if, I mean, just, like, hold on, where's, <laughs> I mean, just look at his, like, like, bar room and whatnot. Like, that's, that's his room. He decorated that himself. So, I had a lot of options of what to get. I could get something kiss-related. I can get something Iranian-related. I can't get in CDs anymore because his Bronco doesn't have CD players, but I could get him something like that. I was thinking some Bronco thing, but I decided just something small. I, I already got it already. I got him this little like Wolverine Bronco. I would just pull it out and show you guys, but it's in my car and I'm afraid if I take it out, he's gonna see it and I'm gonna be like, surprise, here you go. <laughs> That's gonna be his Christmas gift. Now next, of course, is my lovely mother. She is a beauty. I had a lot of difficulty getting her stuff for like any occasion. Is like, I couldn't name a single thing my mom likes to be completely honest with you. And neither could my dad. And he's been married for, to her for like 20 years. So I feel less bad, you know? But I found this little piece at a craft fair. I, I bought it kind of with her. But I have to be like, this is for someone else. So let me show that to you now. Alright, I had to put that on the mic. But you can still hear me. I got her. Thing. Oh my gosh, your thing. So tray and one that. I'll put this in one layer. Hey sir, you can put this in the kitchen or another counter, you know. So I thought this was really pretty. Yeah, if I would match the house and one that. So that's my gift. All right, up next I have my wonderful, wonderful husband. <laughs> Cameron. Uh, we've been together for like two years and I don't know how to not spend money with him, you know? I mean, I think we were together for maybe like four months, give or take, because we started dating in August and Christmas rolled around. It would have been our first Christmas and I got him a Nintendo Switch and he almost killed me. He was, he was not expecting a Switch. <laughs> I almost gave that man a heart attack. And uh, the gifts keep getting more and more extravagant. There's only so much I can do now. Cause I keep buying him shit for no reason. Like I think for for that like Valentine's Day, I got him uh, like a monitor, like one that like splits vertically and whatnot. Uh, I got him parts for his computer, headset, a mic that looks just like this. I got him a keyboard pad. 
Also, at this point, there will be budgets for these people and whatnot. So my budget for camera is probably a thousand dollars. So, uh, recently, his gaming chair broke. Not really broke. It, the the seat of it kind of ripped. He was a little upset by it, but it's still usable. One of his boyfriends recommended I go to the uh, Secret Lab and pick out a chair there. And I found this really good one. It was like red and black and whatnot. But unfortunately it's Valorant themed and the mother of doesn't really play Valorant that much. So I didn't want to give him that. I'm like, well, is it subtle branding? No, it straight up says Valorant on the back. So I was like, damn it. So I was like, I was like, wait a minute, I have a shitty chair. Like a really shitty chair. Well, I don't know why I looked on the website and then as Cameron for his idea, because we basically have them pretty much the same setup of like all black and whatnot. And then he has a little bit of red going through there. So I was like, I was like, Cameron, I'm having a hard time. Like I wanna get a like a like an actual chair. And so like we were looking through and I'm like, what do you recommend? Because we kinda have the same setup. And I found the perfect chair. Well, actually, I didn't really find it. He picked it out. He's like, yeah, that looks really nice. And he said what looked very nice is the Secret Lab Titanium Trademark L E V O. E -V -O. I can read. And then he wanted it for the Secret Lab Neo Hybrid Leatherette? Who comes up with these names? But anyway, that's what the chair looks like, you know? So that's gonna be his big gift for Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can have it shipped to my house, because if it does, He's gonna see that, and I'm gonna be like, it's for you, because I don't know how to lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna have it shipped to my parents' house. That way it's out of the way, because we're having Christmas at my parents' house anyway, so I'll get it shipped there, I'll wrap it all pretty, and then be like, wait, there's one more gift, and then throw it at him. Not really throw, I'll probably like shift it on the floor, but um, we'll get to that part when we get there. <laughs> and then there's some of miscellaneous stuff I was gonna get him as well, because um, he loves Kirby. So instead of being a game, because I got him a ton of games. I don't want to overwhelm him with the games since uh, he hasn't finished a couple of them. Which is not his fault. He's a busy, busy man. <laughs> so I'm just going to get him this nice little figure uh, on screen right here. I thought it looked cute. I just got to figure out a subtle way to like ask about what his favorite Kirby superpower is. But that should be it. And then the motherfucker loves Mate Story. He spent hours on it. He's always constantly talking to Teddy, Andy, and whatnot, so if you're watching this, you are basically a side chef. I, I, don't, I feel like I'm the side chef, and you guys are the main one. But anyway, I digress. I found this really cool thing on Etsy, where it's basically like the little login and whatnot. I don't know if that's like the OG one or the new one, because I'm not really into Maple Syrup. I tried it. I didn't really like it that much. But it's nice in that I, I'll put his little username and whatnot on there. And then it's gonna look great on his little hand. A little bath. And then, finally, he loves Pokemon. His favorite, Shen 3, and he lets me know it all the damn time. And he loves Rayquaza. And I found this beautiful thing once again on Etsy. Oh, thank you. This little guy, and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I order that. But that's when I'm gonna get Cameron. Now, on to the next person. Alright, so, me now. <laughs> He's the guy that I cannot remember what he looks like. Seeing how his picture on screen is a stick figure. So my budget with him was sixty dollars because he made me a lot of good content with the Wattpad stuff. So I thought maybe I'll just give a little sprinkle, you know. And I found this really cute thing. I remember it. In amazement, when we went to the dealer's room and whatnot, there was a Junimo plush. I'm, I'm like. 90% sure it was Benjo that said that was cool, so I'm going to get him that. Mainly, and also, like, even if he wasn't the one that said that, we've been playing Stardew Valley a lot and whatnot, so. On to the next person. <laughs> Jolene. <laughs> Pictured here. <laughs> She's been my friend since middle school and high school. We kind of drifted away a little bit, and then we rekindled that in amazement. And we've been BFFs ever since. She's only like a few minutes away from me and whatnot. I can always call her and hang out. We got the same little interests and whatnot, seeing how she's joined me for Wattpad and whatnot, so... Gotta love Jolene. <laughs> so I have a couple of ways I can go with this. Uh, what I had written down was a $100 budget. Um, it was going to be a lily lamp on Etsy, which you here. It's really pretty. It's like a, it's like crocheted lilies of the, like, lily of the valley. And it's like lights and whatnot, so I thought that was really cute. And then they also like shanks from One Piece, so I was gonna get the figure right here. 
And then they, I remember at Anime's been reminded Galaxy Con, where we went to one of the booths and they had like insect displays where they like pin little insects and whatnot, like beetles, butterflies, moths, like praying mantises and whatnot. So I'm gonna get the, like, I found like a little Etsy person that does that kind of stuff. I'm going to probably get them like a moth. I think a moth would look pretty cool. Like one of those cool moths, you know, like all the fuzzy little guys. And then I already got them stuff, which I will show off now. So, I got this at Find Below. They love Faria, specifically, uh, Tuxedo Sam. So, this little Christmas ornament. Really cute little guy. And then, found these at Crafting. It, it just seemed right up their alley with the cottage core kind of vibe. So, these are a pair of earrings. I already messed them up. But these look like either butterfly or fairy earrings. Just like clear with a little bit of gold and whatnot. I feel like it looks nice. Why not? I feel like this can go with any of their outfits. And then this is a little bit more extravagant. I feel like it's like give or take of uh, if they would like this. I hope they do. Because I saw this and I'm like that's screaming Jolene. So these are little butterflies of like purple, blue, and pink. All pretty light. And they have a little dangle, but I don't know if they like it. I probably should have asked subtly, but I didn't because of an idiot. But I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, so Kenzie now. <laughs> I met them through Discord when I was really into my adventure camp phase and when I met them with a couple other people and it turns out they lived in the same, same state I did, only a few hours away. So we ended up meeting them in person around like December and we they're off as pretty good friends. They joined me for a couple of Wattpad stuff and and all that jazz. And they also have their little YouTube thing, which I, I kind of do try to like be like, I can record for your channel, man. It doesn't just have to be for me. <laughs> but they're really, really good friends and whatnot. Uh, whatever I get them, I have to hopefully find online, which I have a couple things in mind. Uh, they send me these little like rabbit things. So I want to want to send them one of the like those things, maybe like a fruit. Like a fruit one of it. They still love this venture camp. So I was gonna ask my friend Gummy to make a commission of one of their favorite ships, and then once they are done with it, I'll just like send it the, to them over like Discord, like an email being like Merry Christmas. And then uh, they also like Charlie and Octavia. So I was gonna peruse the Shark Robot website and see what I can find and whatnot that I think they would enjoy, you know? I might wait until the, the new merch comes out, which. By the time this video goes up, that will be done and over with. It was like the second wave of Black Friday. But I feel like Charlie stuff. I feel like they would want more Charlie stuff than Octavia. So Gummy. Astro Gummy, if you will. They made my profile banner and PNG Tuber that I use for my live stream. So I really appreciate them. Um, I met them because of a really bad friend. And our friendship stayed. And you know what? I am talking with that. They're really super, super sweet and chill and whatnot. I feel like I can talk to them whenever I need to. We recorded a couple things together for Wattpad. There's still a Pokemon uh, Nuzlocke in the works right now, which uh, <laughs> we'll get to it when we get to it. I, you know what's easy about having to get things for Gummy is that like I don't have to ask them directly or like uh, like try to ask like subtly. I can just go into the Discord server and just see what they talk about, what they like, and also just see what they draw and then be like, all right, I'm just gonna take that and then put it on this website and then I'll get it. So they love, I believe, I'm not really familiar with the Sanrio characters, so bear with me. They love Cinnamon Roll, the little like white rabbit dog thing. And they also like the, um, I think it's like a rabbit. It's on screen. It's the one with the, with the, the black hat. They like that one a lot. So I was gonna look on Hot Topic and see what I can find and then ship it to them and whatnot. And then they also love Pokemon, mainly Jirachi, that little wish Pokemon. I was gonna look on the, um, the, the Pokemon Center website and ship it right to them. That way they would have it. Also, I have a couple things I need to send them and whatnot because uh, I got things through Shark Robot that I need to send. Also, there's late stuff that I need to send for their birthday, which I neglected to do. And now it's way past their birthday and I don't have a good explanation. So I'm just going to ship it with Christmas and be like, oh, happy Christmas. <laughs> that should be fine, right? No, I won't get mad. Tell me if you're seeing this. I just got busy. I'm sorry. 
And then the last person I'm getting shit for is Yudel Yudel Heisen. Ms. Heisen. It's a guy. <laughs> so I met him through Cameron. Uh, that was Cameron's roommate when he was going to college. Sorry, the phone really distracted me. <laughs> that was Cameron's boy when he was uh, going to college and mainly that was his roommate. Literally like really close together since the rooms were like things. But anyway, well, it's pretty chill when not. We collaborated on a couple of live streams. I think he did one Wattpad thing, which I think he still regrets to this day. Um, but I... My mom said if I didn't have anything nice to say, I shouldn't say anything at all. So I'm gonna just move on to what I'm getting. <laughs> so, motherfucker likes Pokemon, which I was going to get him this big-ass Gengar plushie. But unfortunately, Cameron uh, informed me that he already had it. And then when I jokingly said, like, I was gonna get you that, and then he was like, you could have got it. And I'm like, shit, now I can't get him for it because he's gonna expect it. So now I gotta think of another plan. Uh, so I just pulled up the Pokemon Center website and I'm just gonna find some Gengar stuff. <laughs> Maybe I can find something in like Target or Walmart, to be completely honest, of like Gengar. Hopefully. I would get him electronic stuff, but I don't wanna peek into his room. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> And then finally, I, I did not know this about him until I took him to a concert. Uh, he is into rock music, which I... Actually, now that I say it out loud, it, that probably makes a lot of sense. So, uh, I need to subtly ask if his car has a CD player. I know I can probably ask Cameron, but Cameron wouldn't probably know. And I, I don't know how to... I, I will find a way to bring up a conversation and be like, Yo, cars made these days, I don't have CD players. So my 2015, I have a CD player. Do you have a CD player? And then hopefully get a yes or a no, which if it's a yes, then I'm going to get him two CDs for Disturbed and whatnot. Maybe do like one Disturbed and one Five Period Death Punch, because I feel like he would enjoy Five Period Death Punch. But if he doesn't have a CD player, I'll just get him one CD for just Disturbed, and then get one of those CD players. That way he can like, play it in his room, but then at that point you might as well just download Spotify. <laughs> You're just gonna chill in your room and listen to music. But uh, I, I don't know. It's the thought that counts, I guess. So that is it. That is everything I'm getting people for everything. And uh, now the thoughts are exiting my brain. I'm glad I can finally rant about this, of what I'm getting everyone, because it's been weighing on me for a little bit. So I'm glad I get to speak about what I'm gonna get people instead of like having it bubble up in my head and then finally I just like explode and be like, hey, you wanna know what I'm getting so-and-so? And then I'm like spilling everything, so. I'm happy. This video was very productive. If you like this video, then like the video. Also, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment of how much I like to waste my money. Uh, I'm just going to say this now. Hopefully I got good gifts for Christmas from people. I did update my list. I actually probably have to go send that to some people and be like, I don't know how to do it subtly, so I'm just gonna just blatantly just be like, this is what I like. Maybe I'll go find something like it. I'll put it on the <laughs> wrong way. I'll put it on the screen of what my new updated list is. So that's like, I try to give general stuff and whatnot. That way people can be like, oh, uh, they like X. Then why don't I give them Y, you know? It just makes it easy. That way it seems like they put thought into the gift, you know? Instead of just giving me a fucking candle. Like anyone wants a candle. So, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and Christmas and a good holiday and whatnot. Sorry if you don't like Christmas. <laughs> Oops, thieves. Well, I'm gonna go. I got a couple things I gotta get done. But I guess I'll see you guys later.